Ireland has a huge potential to use offshore wind energy into the future. We've identified that around 20,000 jobs can be created if we not only use our onshore wind resource, but start using our offshore wind resource also. We're at the conference here today to discuss what do we need to happen in order for that offshore wind energy to be utilised. What we can see is the most important piece is to start looking at a coordinated effort across all government departments and regulators to make sure that the individual items are in place for us to start developing an offshore wind industry in Ireland. Things like getting planning for offshore wind, getting connected to the electricity grid, making sure the financing is in place for these projects to be realised, but starting to use this enormous potential for offshore also. So the future of offshore wind is, is a massive opportunity right across the piece. When you look at climate change targets, the need for Ireland really to become a leader again, offshore wind can deliver scale. It's the only technology that can truly deliver scale. So it's a great complement to the great work that's already been done by onshore wind. So overall, there's a huge opportunity for offshore wind to deliver for Ireland. There is tremendous potential because the natural resource is there. What we now need to do is bring under the Department of Taoiseach the various departments and agencies, bring them together to deal with the three issues that have to be put in place, leases, grid and a support system. I think it's clear to see the level of interest here today. There's clearly a huge opportunity ahead. We're delighted to be here. We have the, uh, the offshore wind farm just here at um, Arco Bank and we see the opportunity to really leverage and learn from the experience we've had in the UK and other global markets. It sounds as though 3.5 to 5 gigawatts worth of potential here in the market. The clear challenge is having a regulatory framework and policy direction to enable the confidence and the long-term stability that the people need to invest and deliver these projects. In terms of how the challenges are being addressed, as I say, I think we've fallen behind in terms of where we could be at this point in time, but finally things are starting to come together in terms of the regulatory framework, in terms of the route to market and in terms of the grid. So effectively what we need then is to join together to push those things across the line.